we're going to discuss. That's right. We said we were going to discuss um, Google. That's right. Google. That's right. They said that they are going to bring a version of Pixel's Hold For Me tool um, to more phones and desktop via search. What are, what are we talking about, Google? Break it down for us. <laughs> Okay, you, you, this is what they're saying over here. Waiting on hold is a great way to hear those same weird instrumental songs. The only instrumental song that Tallboy has actually heard is the USAA beat because that beat, it goes kind of hard. I got to give it to him. You know what I'm saying? But all the other ones, you know how they put you on hold and you got to hear that, you know, that elevator music or the jazz beat that's kind of quirky or whatever. Nothing that we really want to hear. Well, they said... Google originally tackled this issue on its Pixel phones back in 2020 via the Hold For Me tool, which would wait in the queue and alert you when an actual person picked up. So now a very similar feature is being tested on the Google search. All right. So they're saying that they are calling this a talk to a live representative. They're saying that this will call a business on your behalf, navigate through the various phone menus, wait on hold and then notify you when an actual human is ready to talk. It's currently available as a search labs experiment feature and was originally posted on Twitter or now called X. All right. So listen to what it does. It will call the business on your behalf. It will go through, you know, uh, press one for this two for that three, four, whatever it may be. It says it will wait on hold and then notify you when you have an actual human, when an actual human is ready to talk. All right. They're saying that this actually goes a bit further than the Pixel's exclusive feature. Talk to a live representative um, is available on. They're saying that this goes a little bit further than the Pixel hold for me. So they're saying that it's available on just about any phone and most computers. Whereas hold for me is reserved for Pixel 3 models and newer. Uh, it also actually initiates the call in the first place. The pixel owners must enable hold for me once the call has already been initiated. So right now I have a Google pixel. When I call the number, I have my feature enabled, right? Well, it shows me that the prompts that they give me, but it actually reads it out and then it offers it to me. So I think it's still lagging in the pixel feature. Well, with this talk to a live representative is saying they'll do all of it for you before you even pick up the phone. Okay. They said, here's how it works. Putting it in the fine print. I want you guys to see it. Cause you might say, I got to take advantage of this. All right. Um, they're saying right here at the top, they're saying when you search for your customer service numbers, You'll be you'll see a talk to a live representative prompt. Once you tap that prompt, you'll be directed to answer some questions as to the purpose of the call. For instance, you might want to update an airline booking or cancel a flight. They say the system will ask you for your number. And that's that. You'll get a text message updates uh, regarding uh, wait times and Google will call you when it has the service rep on the line. Now, they're saying that there's some quirks here and you might want to pay attention to this. This is truly experimental. All right. It's just it's all in the experimental phases. We're in phase one or gen one of this. All right. So it's subject to bugs and it doesn't work for every customer service number out there. It currently specializes in airlines, telecommunications companies, big box retailers, insurance providers, mail carriers and more, according to a list. All right. So they're also saying that the talk to a live representative is currently available for U.S. residents via the company uh, search lab. And if you search, if you're a search lab user, you can access the tool on the Google app for Android and iOS, as well as via desktop Chrome. The company hasn't said when this would get a wider rollout. All right. That's what they're saying. So. What do you think of this? I mean, I think that this is pretty cool. Um, I need to tell my patients about this so they can stop yelling at me because <laughs> they've been on hold for 20 minutes or more. Uh, yeah. Hey, hey, look, the articles are in the description. OK, so you can read this article. If you go to the YouTube video, the articles are in the description. You can click on the link. You can click on whatever the search lab at the bottom of the article and you can see how it all works. All right. Um, damn, I know it was too good to be true. <laughs>
No, I mean, it might. Hey, re just remember, we're still in the early phases of this. No different from AI. AI is one year old, right? So this is in the early phases. So it will get better over a course of time. We're just getting a chance to see it. And we're working out the bugs. We're the ones that get to test it out. We're the ones that say it doesn't work and we have to be patient with it. Right. We're first generation. Uh, yeah. So that's what it is. So I have to ask you guys. <laughs> like, I get it, Lisa Maria. Like, hey, I'm they cursing you out and you ain't feeling that. Uh, I'm going to be putting it out there for future reference. <laughs> I'm not mad at it. Um, what is talk to a live representative a good thing? All right, let me know on the on your phone. If you're watching on your phone, let us know. Is talk to a live representative a good thing? One, hell yeah. Who wants to hold for a rep or an agent? Two, it's cool, but I'll pass. Three, it's in the early stages. I'll wait till it gets better. Four, it won't work. The company rep will hang up on you. Or five, I still have questions. One, two, three, four, five. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of the talk to live representative? Is it a good thing? Let us know.